Good morning and welcome to your daily dose. Today is day eight, 523.23, and we're going to be talking about soft skills. I don't know if you guys remember yesterday in your bell ringer that I read something about soft skills, and we're going to be talking about what are soft skills. So soft skills are personality traits and behaviors that will help candidates get hired and succeed in their work. Unlike technical skills or hard skills, soft skills are interpersonal and behavioral skills that help you to work well with other people and develop your career. So soft skills are sometimes more important than your hard skills, which would be like your technical skills. Um, I would say that they are more important because they are what helps you work as a team. Soft skills employers notice in a recent Indeed survey of a thousand hiring managers, we asked them to list what attributes are common to the top performers at their company. The top five attributes they named were problem solving, effective communication skills, self-direction dri drive, and adaptability, flexibility. What we're going to be talking about today is problem solving. So let's discuss problem solving. What are problem solving skills? i give you some definitions and some examples. When employers talk about problem solving skills, they're often referring to the ability to handle difficult or unexpected situations in the workplace, as well as complex business challenges. Organizations rely on people who can assess both kinds of situations and calmly identify solutions. Problem solving skills are traits that enable you to do that. While problem solving skills are valued by employers, they are also highly useful in other areas of life, like relationship building and day-to-day decision-making. What are problem-solving skills? Problem-solving skills help you determine the source of a problem and then find, and then find an effective solution. Although problem-solving is often identified as its own separate skill, there are other related skills that contribute to this ability. Some key problem solving skills include active listening, analysis, research, creativity, communication, decision making, and team building. Problem solving skills are important in every career at every level. As a result, effective problem solving may also require industry or job specific technical skills. For example, a registered nurse will need active listening and communication skills when interacting with patients, but will also need effective technical knowledge related to the diseases and medications. In many cases, a nurse will need to know when to consult a doctor regarding a patient's medical needs as part of the solution. Okay, so I could not find an example that's directly related to billing and coding specialists or even a receptionist or an accounts receivable specialist. Anything in the medical field, you're going to have to have effective problem solving. You're going to have to be able to interact with patients. You're going to have to communicate with doctors, insurance companies, etc. So that is the reason why I wanted to bring up the soft skill of problem solving. I want you to begin to practice that now. Some of you are great at communication. Some of you need to communicate a little better or a little more often. Um, remember that being an active listener, let's go back to this um, list of problem solving skills, active listening, analysis, research as a billing and coding specialist, as any sort of a medical facility employee, you're going to have to be able to research. Communication is key. Decision-making, 
You have to know when you can make a decision and when do you need to go to someone else to make the decision? When is it out of your scope of practice to make a decision? And team building. Wherever you go, whatever job you're in, it is important to be a team player. I hope you learned something and I hope that you enjoyed uh, learning about the soft skill of problem solving um, and begin practicing that. Look, Google it. How do I improve my problem solving skills? Because being able to solve a problem when you're a coder, it's very, very important. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.